is going on guys? It is Wrath here, and welcome back to my Monster Hunter Let's Play. So we're on an episode I don't remember, uh, but I know what we're doing today. We're going to be killing the Queen of the Desert. Um, I barely have enough of the contract fee after I paid for this new weapon. Um, we're still actually trying to get that last Rathalos piece, and if you don't know, it is one of the hardest pieces to get in the game. You need a specific um, <laughs> drop to get from the Rathalos called the Rathalos Wing, and it is it is ungodly rare. I mean, it, it's I've done the quest to capture a Rathalos maybe uh, seven times, and I still haven't gotten it. <laughs> That's actually how I could afford to get this weapon upgrade. Um, so yeah, I guess it worked out, but eventually we'll we'll be getting that. Uh, let's just collect all of our equipment and head right off into the fight. This is pretty much my go-to weapon for this game. Uh, I just love it. It's so versatile. I mean, it's, it's just all around a great weapon. I'm still really mad that I can't get that stupid drop from the Rathalos. So I'm usually pretty good about getting rare drops, but <laughs> not... Not lately. So here's the Rathian if you've never seen her before. She's the exact same as a Rathalos, only much larger? I mean, she looks larger than the Rathalos is that I've bought. Uh, she doesn't fly around like Rathalos does, actually. Which makes her for a more enjoyable fight. I've always enjoyed fighting Rathian more, even though I always use the Rathalos stuff. I don't, I don't know why that is. Now, I'm pretty sure that um, the Rathian gives you increased health and the Rathalos gives you increased attack uh, for their armor stats and that's in this game and on the later games as well. She does that. Uh, that will poison you. She seems more revolves around poison than the Rathalos does but he can also poison you. I think she just has more moves uh, including the triple fireball. are just crazy to deal with. And I don't think she fireballs like he does when he gets his backswing. Oh god. That's probably like one of the best things that they put in this game for Oculus. Is the fact that we can... Okay, let's see if I can get her. Oh wow. I don't know why they attack me, even though like... She eats them, like pretty consistently, pretty sure, like I'm 100% sure they're in her food chain, but they want to attack me, so, I think we're going to use a flash bomb here, I think we'll only use two throughout the entire fight. She actually hit that guy with that. I'm 100% sure you saw that. Maybe he'll die. Nice. Pretty much doing all the work for us here. Ouch. If you play your cards right, you can get them back more as a, a shield. Ah, oh, that was pretty close. 
we have time to sharpen you. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. That's awesome. This has been a pretty easy fight. Um, this weapon makes it pretty easy too, because of how versatile you really can be and can afford to be when using it. going to area 3 and there's more Absarase. So we're going to use one more mini whetstone before we go. This will be at complete maximum. And then we'll use some rations and maybe an herb or two. No, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to post this video on the same day as my other video. And I doubt I will. Just because of the fact that I don't know. If I keep this one <laughs> unuploaded, that means I have my that day ahead in recording. So that works out for me that way. I'm not going to be posting like on a random schedule. I try to stay at least one video ahead, but it's kind of hard. And I know I keep saying I'm going to mass record, but I, I just get so lazy. See, she's not a terrible fight, but these Absaraz here, if you're not using a heavy weapon, you can give you a hard time. Like they're doing right now. Oh, man. I wish she would just, like, stay in one area, like... Like Vasarios. That way, like, you clear all the ads and then you're done. But because she is a roaming. There's a lot of Absaraz here. There's at least six. I really want to sharpen right now, but... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not allowed to sharpen right now, apparently. Let's see if I can this. Nice. 
too bad. Could have went worse. It's actually a pretty quick fight. And it can be. You know, if you play your cards right and you attack right, you know, it would have been... We could have shaved two minutes off of that if there was no... Oh, that's a rare drop. Yeah, we could have shaved about two minutes off of that fight if, if these Absaros weren't here. And we could, like, carve or something if they weren't here. the Rathian. Um, I'm sure that compared to the Rathalos episode, <laughs> this one was amazingly quick. And it also helps that, you know, we're using an upgraded weapon now. But, that just goes to show you, like, how much time Rathalos wastes. Because they, they're about the same health. I mean, they're not any weaker uh, than the other. But anyways. That's done. We could probably do something else in this episode to make it a little bit longer for you guys. I know you guys don't really want to watch a extremely short one. And this would shave off time. Because I think about making longer videos, but then at the same time, it's like... Who has the time to sit down and watch a 45 minute video, you know what I mean? If I keep them between like a, like a 10 to 20 minute range, then I guess that gives you more incentive to watch the full thing. Instead of having to turn it off like halfway through. I think we're gonna go kill um, some Gendron. Yeah, let's go do that. We'll get out our Serpent Blade for that, actually. That weapon's gonna be cool before too long. Uh, you haven't even seen it in use yet. I'll actually show you what it looks like. Um, it looks kind of jankety right now. Cause it's still like bone blade, nothing but bone. If you look closely, you'll see a little like wa wyvern on the, the edge of the blade. That's pretty cool. Never noticed that before. And I haven't even showed off what the hero's blade looks like when you're wearing it. It's kind of a cool little thing, but you can't really use it for anything at this point in the game. Alright, we're gonna go on and continue onwards. Let's see what we can do with those Rathian pieces. Huh. Almost make the helm for Rathian. Not for Rathalos, though. Sucks. We're gonna go ahead and sell that Rathian stuff that we have, actually. All those scales. Oh, the spike is only worth 300. That's weird. Anyways. Continuing onwards. Let's go ahead and, and kill these Gendron. And we're we'll probably gonna need a or two. And I'm pretty sure they'll supply us with that, so I'm just gonna go right ahead. So today was my first day of school, um, back at college. I was only there for 50 minutes. <laughs> So not too much to talk about. Well, I lied. I was there for more like three hours getting everything settled and getting my password reset from my like student account or whatever and had to go through some other bullshit, but I only had 50 minutes worth of class. And um, tomorrow I have my math class and that's two hours long. And I think I need to start with my business class, which is online. So I'll be there from like nine to 11 tomorrow but, um, yeah. And it turns out that I actually only have to show up. Oh, there's a control. Yeah, it turns out I only have to show up for three classes until, um, October. And that's when my other two classes start. I didn't know that. Cool for me. Aw, oh, man. I was really hoping we were going to go to do the thing that we did last time. I don't remember if you remember, but I think it was like the first time we had to kill the Gendron. And we did like, keep him like... Okay, yeah, we're just gonna get him away from the door, because I just keep walking through. <laughs> I 
But yeah, we basically like trapped him between the entrance to the next area and my sword. It was amazing. It was like the best thing I've ever seen. He's gonna try to leave the area now. Nice. There's one down. Two to go. Um, let's go ahead and take those. Or one of those, rather. We'll head on to area 10 and see if there's anyone here. Um, no. Alright, well, I guess that means we can head on to the desert area. See if there's any here. Um, I don't see him here. So he either either hasn't spawned yet, or we gotta run through both deserts, which is fine. Now. You hear that eagle every now and again, or whatever kind of bird it is, but you don't really fight any birds. Well, I guess the Cutku is a, considered a bird, but you don't fight any like bosses in this game that look like birds, in the offline version at least. I don't know if the Hypno Trite or whatever it is is in Monster Hunter 1. Can't remember. Anyways, basically the bird's there for nothing. You know what? I'm, I'm not. Uh. Well. That was dumb. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. Cephadrome. Not too bothersome. At this point in the game, at least. Okay. either. This is the only problem with these quests, is you just spend so much time searching for the boss. And waiting. There he is. So certain there's a cycle that we could get into if we could like get off the ground. You know, I have no problem doing this. Wow, that was a complete waste. Ah, oh, that's just so annoying sometimes. That's the way this game is, dude. Like, sometimes it's like, takes me no effort. Like that Rathian quest, we just completed with like minimal effort. And this guy is giving me so many problems. Because of the ads, it's really that. And like, I can't run away from him. I don't understand.
definitely gonna die here. Didn't die. Almost died. Look at the jump! Like... No monster can jump well. Okay. He's leaving. That works for me. That's fine. <laughs> God, this guy's just so annoying. And I don't mean to complain so often, but I mean, when you're getting like tossed around by ads, it's like, are you serious? There. Done. Okay, on to the last one. Sunsack. Cool. I think this is the only guy you can get that from. Take these rations and just take a second to let my blood pressure go down. Like Jesus. I consider like the Gendrome more probably the most annoying to, to fight. Even more annoying than the um the Iodrome. Yeah, I would definitely say that. And I don't know if these guys keep respawning to me, but I'm gonna keep killing them. I just, I know this is really boring for you to watch. I'm, I, it's boring for me to do. Like, I, I don't know what else to say about this, other than we just wait. This is, this is a part of the game. You just wait for the, the spawn. Like, straight up, just wait. <laughs> Nothing else. And thankfully, you know, you don't have to complete these missions more than once. Like, if you don't want to do a mission, you do it once, and you never have to do it again. And so, I'm just along on the ride with you. Like, I, I can't I can't do anything about it. Okay, I, I could speed it up, but honestly, I, I lack the editing capabilities to even do that sometimes. Here we go, okay. Last guy. So we're gonna take this one a little bit more seriously and just get it done. Um, if you focus, you can pretty much get him into a pattern where you just consistently knock him down. And just stun lock him against a wall or something. Like, what I'm going to try to do here is, is that. Now he's going to slide further down in the direction of the wall. But if you keep your, uh, your camera on him, it makes it a little bit easier. So, you know, he's off the wall now. So we've got some pretty decent damage on him from that. This game can reward um, a confident playstyle. Like you see how quick that went. If, if you use your brain in these fights, it's easier. But I mean, you can't always use your brain in monotonous fights like this. I mean, honestly, it's just you get to a point where you just turn your brain off and you just act. And in the later Monster Hunter games, um, you can't really do that with a lot of monsters. Because every monster is different, you know, that there's there's more to the monsters in the later games. Like Monster Hunter Tri, um, was probably the biggest one for me. It made me change my playstyle. I actually created uh, armor sets for different monsters for fighting different monsters. It, that was the first game that I've ever had to do that, like Monster Hunter game, to be specific, that I've ever grinded just so I could fight one monster. And it was 
pretty much basically just about that is being prepared for any situation like oh uh, me and my friends want to go kill Latrion well boom I got a Latrion set that gives me high grade earplugs and attack up large you know or maybe we're fighting um I don't know uh, Devil Joe and we're using lances well I have a, a lance class with guard up plus two and then I have one with evasion plus two so whichever one I choose and that was just like the biggest fun factor for me that kept me playing um, these games it's just the completion um, but anyways I've rambled enough uh, we're 27 minutes in uh, we killed a couple quests I think in the next episode we're gonna get around to killing the Rathian again and doing the thing of the Iridrome that's three Iridrome and then before too long we'll be doing this bad boy um, this is probably my favorite quest and that's why I'm saving it for one of the last ones that I do in the five star missions so anyways thanks for watching I appreciate you guys hanging out with me uh, and I'll see you guys next time also don't forget to like comment and subscribe comment telling me anything you want to talk to me about whether it be about Monster Hunter, other games that you would like to see me play, Dauntless, which is coming out in like five days, I'm pretty excited. Um, yeah, anything that you want to talk about, like, that's what I'm here for, like, I'm not just like here to create videos for you, like, I'm, I want to be more for you than just a guy that makes videos. We could be friends, you know what I mean? Um, and that's really like my favorite thing about this whole is being able to communicate with so many people but if nobody's communicating with me then what am I doing this for all right I've said my piece thanks for watching it's been wrath and I'll see you guys next time later